gas cans. Rooftop tent. 400 pound solid steel bumpers made in the United States by hand. A tire mounted to the roof or the bumper. Cockpit battle stations. Nope, we got none of that stuff because this is a minimalist overlander. Howdy, this is Mike. Thanks for joining us in All Train Family today. I've been asked a bunch of times to do a walk around on our 1999 third gen 4Runner. While it's not the most eye-catching of off-road overlanding rigs, it works really well for us, and I'm gonna show you why. All right, so we'll start at the front here. Obviously, we've got um, an unmodified stock bumper for a 99 Forerunner. This is called the fat lip bumper because it sticks out. Some of the bumpers don't do that. Some people don't like it. I don't really have a problem with it. I don't care, it doesn't matter to me. Um, here in the front for suspension, stock suspension, pretty much. These are stock leaf, uh, stock, stock coil springs on um, Bill Stein uh, struts. And those struts, I guess you can't really tell, they're, mount, they're not mounted at the um, default position, they're mounted at a lift position. So they're about inch and a half up from where they would be um, otherwise. Other than that, the suspension has not been modified except for the fact that I've replaced the lower ball joints and the axles a couple times. And I have a little bit of lift on it and you can't quite see it. Well, you might be able to see it right in there. In the middle there, there's a, um, there's a differential drop kit, which makes up for the lower uh, position of the um, suspension. And hopefully that will keep me from breaking um, axles repeatedly and ad nauseum. Here we have your standard BF Goodrich KO2 all-terrain tires, which are pretty good, I think. I like them just fine. They're a size 265-75-16 on the stock 4Runner wheels that I had powder-coated black. And the center cap there has been painted black with black um, plasti dip. Moving back, we have no sliders and just the default stock guards underneath, which have taken a beating for sure, um, but are sufficient. The um, haven't made any mods here, but I did replace the steering rack guide, which is that silver knob right there in the middle. I replaced the in and outer tie rods. I replaced the uh, sway bar mounting points and I replaced all the bushings for the steering rack and all those modifications have made this turn and track really well on the highway and off-road. There's still a little bit of a clunk in the steering but I think that is due to the steering universal joint under the hood that is a common problem with these that I may address at some point in the future. Um, looking back, we've got the other half of the Bilstein shock kit back there with stock Bilstein shocks, stock um, suspension uh, bars there, stock axles. I'm um, here in the back. We'll run a uh, Yakima. Uh, sorry, a Thule. T2 bike rack. And this is a stock um, trailer hitch. However, it's a stock trailer hitch for a 97 Forerunner. At some point, I'm going to do the mod where you undo those three bolts right there and flip the hitch over and cut out the bumper so that you get more ground clearance. I have stock bumpers, only been modified by rock damage on all four corners, similar to what you see here. 
suspension wise we're running old man emu 906 springs and this axle has the built-in factory e-locker which works really really well uh, one of the reasons i'm only running the tire size that we're running um, aside from it being pretty good for all of the things we do is that the tire fits here uh, underneath the vehicle out of the way we almost never almost never use the spare tire and so i don't have to think about it i don't have to move it out of my way any bigger tire just would not fit between the between the the uh, trailer hitch and then the track bar on the other end would like to um, change these springs out they've sagged more than i would like the old man emu 906 springs so i would like to get different springs um, they sag so much that i have um, daystar spacers in there as well and they still sag so um, not too stoked about that but that's what i got on this side, we've got mm, nothing special. There's all the same stuff on this side. Um, looking at the top here, the only thing that's truly overlandy that I have going on here is this um, case cruiser rifle case I have modified to mount here. There are no holes drilled in the case. The case it mounts on the front and back with standard Yakima universal clips there and then it sits on a um, it sits on a pad underneath and that keeps it from scratching the roof I also have a piece of um, white uh, 3m vinyl film underneath that to keep it from damaging the paint any more than it already has all right, let's look at the back. Looking back here, I've got my um, cargo deck box. I call this a drawerless drawer system. And of course, my crew. Hi. Uh, my drawerless drawer system. So it's got, it's basically just the uprights and a platform with a slide out table. No. Um, this is just a non, just a wooden box that I've made. I'll probably rebuild that at some point. It's not a drawer and it's not permanently fixed in here because um, I swap it between here and the, for and the uh, Ford. So it's pretty convenient to have it not be fixed in there. Um, if you want to know more about this, I do have a full build on this particular piece. Um, and uh, it's on my YouTube channel and I'll just link to it somewhere here on this page. Probably like right up here in this corner. Um, the only other mods I've made back here are to remove the um, the uh, cargo cover uh, plastic pieces there. Hi. And so that makes it um, so that the cooler can get that much closer to the wall when we mount the cooler in there. Let's go around the front. This is the back seat where the kids sit. Hi. Again. They're really messy and sloppy. Again. There aren't any mods back here. And I got in the swamp. He went in the swamp. There aren't any mods back here, except, yeah, there aren't any mods back here at all. This is just the kid's seat. The two kid seats. The 4Runner does not have the child seat mounting and points. And we get two but, mints. Yep, and they steal my mints. Yes. Okay. Front seat, front seat's where some good stuff is, actually. Got a nice little piece of Velcro here to attach uh, patches to. Shout out to the Overland NV guys. And of course, this came from Mountain State Overland. Some more patches on the ceiling. The I don't have ceiling? quite as many as I should have, but I've got some. Other than that stock interior, the only mods I've made here are I have the, um, I have a Cobra CB radio instead of an ashtray, because we don't smoke of course and that I don't have a build video on but all you gotta do is pull the ashtray out and cut the back out of that um, ashtray slide which you take this whole faceplate off which just snaps right off you don't need a tool even and then you wire your thing in and and jam your um, CB radio in there and you're good to go stop 
Up here, I have our um, our steel custom dashboard mount that holds. Um, this is uh, an iPad 2 case or an iPad mini case with some money clips on the back. I have a full build video on this as well. Um, if you want to make something like this, there's a little bit of rattling. That's what that's for. And I have some, I have some wiring there going to the top. And then that is of course is a night eyes steely mount for my phone. Um, and that honestly is the sum total of all the mods that we've made to this vehicle. Oh, one more mod that you might have noticed if you um, were super sharp is this. So up here on the roof, this point right here is the normal place where your um, roof, roof rails will end. There's a cap that looks just like that that goes right here. Um, I wanted to mount longer things to the roof rack so I basically I went to the junkyard and I bought a one more whole piece like piece of this nope. one more whole piece cut it in half half is here and half is on the other side and to mount that up you just um, drill some holes pull down the headliner on the inside and bolt it on and there you go and so now I have I have a bar up here and then usually usually I will um, have this bar the second bar slid back so I can mount a roof box on it I haven't needed to use the roof box because we've been using our tent um, but this is pretty handy although it's gonna be getting on winter time so I'll need to mount up the ski rack soon so I'll have to figure out what to do with all my tools. If you want to see the tools, just uh, I have a video on how I mounted this thing up. And just check that out and you can see all the tools that I have in it in that video. So that's it. That's our minimalist overlander that we use. It's a 99 Forerunner SR5. It is a V6. It is a five speed. It's pretty rad. It works really, really well for us. We like it a lot. Um, if you want to see it in action, just subscribe to the channel and you'll see a lot more of this thing in action. Um, thank you very much for watching. And uh, if you like this video, go ahead and like. If you don't like, please leave a comment. That helps too. Um, if you want to know more about this vehicle, about uh, our channel, about me, I don't know why you would want to know about that. Anyway, there's uh, we have a... Patreon page and on that Patreon page I will be posting full GPS tracks for all the places we go as well as releasing videos a little bit early as well as um, potentially releasing content that we don't put on uh, the YouTube channel. Everything you do to support us there just helps us make the content. Um, we're not uh, making ter terrible amount of money on this right now um, but sure does take a lot of time. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, enjoy and let me know what you think. Bye-bye.